Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Um, today, we have Elizabeth Warren versus the incumbent president of the United States, Donald Trump. Um, Elizabeth Warren, you probably all know her. She's a senator from the state of Massachusetts. Um, pretty much, I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a format in this video. Um, I, I have all the safe and likely states filled in already, so that we can get to the real meat of the predictions without really waiting on that much. Um, so regardless, let's get this start. Um, let's take a look here. Georgia, I think, would stay in the Republican column. Texas, I think, would stay in the Republican column. Um, in my mind, Florida would stay in the Republican column because Elizabeth Warren doesn't really appeal to the South, the Southern voters, as much as um, Castro, like Julian Castro, who will be doing very soon, could be, um, or many other people. Um, Nevada overall, I think, would stay Democratic. I think no matter who it is, Nevada will be Democratic, unless if it's a really, really bad candidate. New Hampshire will stick with its Northeastern friends, um, and stay blue. Um, also, Maine 2nd District will flip black. Um, recently the Republican just lost, the incumbent Republican lost in Maine 2nd District, um, which is a really bad sign for th potentially things to come in 2020 for Trump. Minnesota, I think overall, would stay in the Democratic column again. Um, Ohio, Ohio would definitely stay red. North Carolina, in my mind, staying red. Um, Arizona is turning more and more blue, so I believe it'll go Democratic. Um, now we're down to our last four states, um, predictably enough, the Rust Belt and Iowa. Um, so, Wisconsin, I will give to Elizabeth Warren. Um, I'm actually going to do something I don't know if I've ever done. And that split Ohio and Iowa. I'm going to say that Iowa, who is a much higher disapproval of the president, um, will go, would go, for Elizabeth Warren. Um, let's see here. Uh, we have two states left, Michigan and Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania, I would say, would go uh, for Mr. Trump by a narrow margin yet again. Um... 2016, a lot of people thought that, including me, thought that Pennsylvania was going blue as it has for a long time. However, Trump has a good appeal to um, the Rust Belt voters. Um, as long as the economy doesn't go into like a recession or something, I think he could do, he could kind of replicate his success in 2016. Um, and finally, the state of Michigan, I believe, um, through the help of, it would take a little bit of help, it would take other people, um, helping him out, but I think Trump would win Wisconsin. If John James would be the vice presidential nominee, or Nikki Haley, in my mind, um, Trump Pence is not as strong as Trump Haley or Trump James. Um, but overall, uh, 287, I mean, sorry, 278 versus Elizabeth Warren's 260, so a, a nail-biter election, but overall, I think Trump would retain the presidency. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, do you like the new format? Uh, comment down below about any changes or future videos. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also join us on the subreddit at JPC Reddit, and I will see you all later.